Do you see? It's week three. Can you believe it's week three? I know that was really hard. Um, you see it's week three. Here we are, week three. Once again, a new challenge for you. Taking some of the old, adding some new. Um, it's all about strength, right? And um, when we actually strengthen our muscles, we actually burn more calories and our body's feeling better and able to handle what comes at us. All right, so here we go, getting on week three. So once again, we're gonna go through exercises. We're still here, it's week three, we've made it. So we're gonna take our basic move that we used at the beginning, our squat, and last week we added our press. This week, we're gonna add our bicep curl to it. So your brain is gonna go a little overload, okay? So if these are pretty easy, move up to something new. And if this is getting too easy, um, you can dump part of it out and add sand to it. Or, I have a couple of different bands. I can use these instead. Um, because it's all just about resistance. If I'm going to be doing a squat press, this is a little bit harder. Um, we're gonna actually add the curl in the press. Um, that can be done with the bands as well. All right, here we go. So once again, our regular squat. We're gonna start with our weights down beside us this time and not up at our shoulders. And as we come down, we're gonna to start to curl, press. Come down slow, curl, press. Hips back, watch that. Squat, it's very important still. Curl, press. Now if you curl this way, that's fine as opposed to this way, your biceps haven't had any work on them yet. So we don't need to be technical, we just need to get the movement done, okay? So squat, curl, press. Now we're moving into some little muscle groups. Now that your larger muscle groups, your chest, shoulders, and legs, and your core can handle it. Um, because face it, there's more muscle mass in my legs than there's in my bicep. So at the beginning of this um, month, it was more important for us to move the larger ones than the little ones, but now we're getting them involved. So there's our first exercise. <coughs> Excuse me. The second one is our favorite push-up variation again. So challenge yourself this week. Challenge yourself, even if it's for one set, doing something totally different. And I'm gonna give you a challenge. This is a medicine ball that I made. It's an old playground ball. Filled it with pea gravel and lots and lots of duct tape. Haha, <laughs> we use it for lots of different things. But you can use this on the chair or you can use it on the ground. So here's the challenge. Put your hand up on one and do the push-up. Or you can go to the middle and move over and do the push-up. You can even do that up here on, on your bench if you're not quite sure about it. You've got one hand up, one hand down, just don't put papers on there because it'll slide. <laughs> All right, so there's your push-up variations. But like I said, challenge yourself. Do something new, even if it's one set, okay? Even if it's a half a set, even if it's one repetition. Do something new. So our third exercise, we still have our row. Um, we're going to change the row and the lunge up just a little bit. Back is getting stronger, legs are getting stronger. <coughs> Excuse me. This week, our lunge isn't gonna be going this way. We need to move our body side to side to make sure we get a well-rounded strength and body. So our lunge is gonna come out to the side. You're gonna take a wide step. The only leg that's gonna bend is this one. And once again, the knee is not going over the toe. You're pushing your hip back. So I'll come to the side. Show you, you're pushing your hip back like you're doing one-legged squat and you're stepping together. Step back, chest core still engaged. Step back, go this way and show you. So we're working still our legs or we're working laterally this time instead of forward and back because we don't go through life just this way. We get into our car, we step out of the way, the dog runs into us, we gotta move, right? As well as our, our um, rope. I'm still gonna use it on here. We're gonna pull back a little bit. We're gonna do some of the same, but we're gonna pull out a little bit more. So take those elbows almost like a wing. I'm gonna go this way so you can see it. Trying to touch those elbows behind you. 
Before we are pulling straight, I want you to pull out and really try to touch those elbows together. So you're saying, how in the world do we put this together? Let me show you, not as hard as it looks. So get yourself situated here with the strength you need. We're gonna step out to the side for that lunge. Wide row, wide row. Push off that heel, squeeze that butt on the way up. If this is too much together, go here. Go here the first set, and the same thing here. Row wide. But together, and I know you can do it together because you've gotten stronger, step out wide, step out wide. This leg is straight, wide, wide. So our back is getting a little bit stronger, so we're pulling a little bit wider rather than narrow, and our legs are getting some more strength on the inner and outer, as well as those glutes and hamstrings. So, our next one, you notice all these are kind of combo moves. Still, um, we're gonna go back to our hip bridge and getting after those glutes a little bit more. And if you remember, we were down on the ground, feet engaged on the floor, shoulders back, core tight. There's still a little bit of a bubble underneath your lower back, because if you tried to press it flat, that's not a natural curve. Core tight, just like when you're coughing. Find your place of where it's gonna be to be challenged. Maybe this week it is a single leg, and it may just be right here, single leg. Just lifting that knee up. Go for that, that's awesome. Or try something new, go all the way out with both. Or walk it. If you're like, I can't hold it for the whole time, 15, walk it. Stay right here, hips up and walk it, okay? Core is working hard, hamstrings and glutes are working hard. <clears throat> try something new. This is the week of trying something new, all right? See where your strength is, test it out for a set. We have one last exercise, and we've kind of incorporated everything this week. Um, and once again, it's the plank, but I want you to do something different, okay? Um, this week, We've got this lane here. I'm showing you up here because it's easier to see. Before we were going to the side or you were trying to lift up your arm. This week I want you to try, keep that tabletop tight and lifting your knee to your elbow. We're moving a little bit larger movement and you're going out to the side. So if this is easy, you can go farther out to the side if you want to. As long as you're not cranking that back, I want you to stay flat. Same thing with here. You're gonna take that knee Come out wide, core tight, shoulders back and down. Controlled is the word. All right, so are you ready? So let's see <clears throat> about going through the whole thing. This week, we have three rounds of 10 to 12. Sorry, somebody's calling me. That's weird. <laughs> All right, three rounds of 10 to 12 repetitions. And you say, why 10 to 12? It depends on where your strength level is with the weights that you have. If you get to 10 and you're like, oh, it's good, I'm gonna challenge you. Maybe try two more. But if it's really challenging to get that last one, then be done. No compromising that form, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, so the first one we're starting is the squat, curls, and the press. So grab whatever weight you're doing. If the eight pounds, like I said, are becoming easy, too easy, try a band or you could try something different. This um, medicine ball is about 15 pounds, um, and I can do it together. So I'm gonna start with this one and show you, and uh, or you can do your weights. So you're still gonna do your curl if you're holding one, and we're gonna squat, curl, press, and back down. It's a little bit harder because it's a little bit more lopsided to use a ball over the head. And we're doing 10 to 12 repetitions Core tight, nice. The last four I'm gonna show you with your regular weights. So to the side, we're gonna curl, press, down. Make sure those hips are still sitting back. If you have to go back and separate this out, separate it out. No worries, you do you. I don't want you to do me and I don't want you to try to keep up with me. 
All right, you just do you. So the second exercise is <coughs> our push-up variation. So if you're gonna try it with that ball, try it with the ball. And you're gonna go through 10 to 12. Now if that's too hard to be up here, put your knees down, cross over, do something new. If this is new for you, be new. If the ball is too much, come down here and alternate that push-up. You're just doing 10, 10 to 12. And you can do that alternating on here too. You can put one hand in front of the other and do that same thing as well as on the wall. You can alternate it out, move it. Okay, awesome. So the next one we have our lunge with our row. All right, here we go. This is the crazy one you gotta figure out. Out wide, push up through that heel. Glute, sitting back. Back is getting worked. Legs are getting worked. Nice. This one's a little longer because <laughs> you're doing 10 on each leg, okay? So your back's getting a little bit more work, but that's okay. You do the pace that you need to go at. If this is too much, go slower. If the resistance on the band starts to be getting too much as you progress, step forward. There's no time here. You make it through. And I've been talking, so I don't know how many repetitions we've done. I'm sure somebody's shouting back at me right now. We're almost done. All right, let's do one more on each side. Shoulders back and down, pulling out wide. Whew, that one gets your heart rate up, doesn't it? You can feel that within your back and your legs. Something totally different. All right, you've got your hip ridges again. Choose something different. Choose it, you ready? Choose it, choose it. If you're doing single legs, we're doing 10 to 12 repetitions. If you're gonna lift them up, you're gonna lift each one up 10 times. If you are holding one up, you're gonna hold it that 15 seconds, and then hold it the other side the 15 seconds. If you're just out here, I want you to count for that 30 seconds. Try to keep those knees together. This is one that's easy to keep those knees apart. But if you pull those knees in, you will fill those inner thighs even more. And trying to keep that glute up, you may have to walk your feet back. Okay? All right, last one. We have our plank. And once again, this is the 10 repetitions, so each side controlled, okay? Holding it tight, bringing that knee up, shoulders back and down. Make sure you're breathing. Now, if at any point during this, it's too hard, bring your knees down. And you're like, how do you do that? You can still bring that knee up. I'm sliding on my floor, but you can still do it. Okay? 10 on each side. Perfect. So, that's one round through, and um, we're doing three rounds of those. So grab a deep breath, grab a glass of water, and then you're gonna go back to those squats, rows, presses. Good job on choosing something new, something harder this week, even if it was one set. I can't wait to show you next week. Have a good week.